Hello, today I'm sharing exactly how I apply cream, liquid, and stick eyeshadows so they look beautiful and perfect all day and never crease. This can be an issue for a lot of people. And if you have hooded or deep set eyes, many times these types of eyeshadows can migrate to the hoods of your eyes. This prevents that from happening too. I wear these types of shadows, both mattes and shimmers, regularly, and I've been applying them this way as long as I can remember. But I haven't done a dedicated video to show you exactly what my method is. It's quick and easy to incorporate into your existing daily makeup routine and also comes in handy for powder, shimmer, sparkle, and metallic shadows that you really want to pop or have more of a wet look. I do this when I apply those to my lids too. So if you have any of these issues with these types of shadows, no matter what the finish is, matte or shimmer, I think this could help you out. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Now let's get you zoomed in and I'll show you exactly what I do voiceover style because there was a lot of noise going on outside, but I actually think that will probably work out better. I start by applying a small amount of eyeshadow primer. You can use any you have on hand. If you are looking for suggestions, I'll have some in the description box for you. I blend it all the way from my lash line to my brow bone, and through this entire process, I'm always keeping in mind the angle from the corner of my eye to the tail of my brow. It's sort of an invisible border. I don't want any shadow or color to go below, because if it does, it will cause my eyes to look a little bit droopy. So so in order to keep the lift, I just want to keep everything contained above that. So I'm making sure eyeshadow primer is extended out to that area too. And once it's all pressed in, I'm going to let it sit for around 60 seconds before applying whatever liquid cream or stick eyeshadow I'm applying. And you can apply your shadow the way you usually do. Today I'm using a stick eyeshadow and scribbling it onto my lid and slightly up into the crease. And I'm diffusing and blending out the edges with probably my most used brush for cream liquid and stick eyeshadows. You see me use this brush a lot. I decided to blend two shades together today. I'm adding a slightly deeper shade just on the outer third. It's still really quick and easy to do and adds just a little extra depth and dimension and I'm blending it out with the same brush. Now on this eye, after coloring on that eyeshadow stick, I wanted to show you how I blend out the edges just using my fingers sometimes and not using a brush. It's very easy to do this way. I also blend out that second shadow sometimes with just my finger. It's not quite as precise, but sometimes if I'm in a hurry, my fingers will do when it comes to cream liquid and stick eyeshadows. Now I'm taking translucent powder on a fluffy brush and setting only from my crease up to my brow bone. Applying that cream liquid or stick product over unset eyeshadow primer allowed us to get the best application and look out of it while setting above that area is going to allow powder eyeshadows or bronzer to glide on seamlessly and not stick or look patchy on unset eyeshadow primer. It's a very silky application this way. It also helps your mascara not smudge on your brow bone. Now this is optional but for extra insurance that that cream liquid or stick shadow won't crease or budge, swirl your brush into a small amount of that translucent powder to really work it in there and lightly tap it across your lids. To finish out this eye look, I went into one of my favorite neutral toned eyeshadow palettes and used a mid-toned brown. You can use anything you have, even bronzer. And I lightly swept it above my crease, almost up to my brow bone in that transition area, being careful not to go below that invisible perimeter from the corner of my eye to the tail of my brow. I use shadow to line a lot and I did that here today, combining two of the deep shades in this palette. Again, using that same angle from the corner of my eye to the tail of my brow. It's basically my lower lash line. I just give myself a little bit of a lift along the outer third of my eye and sort of build that line up just a little bit and press it into my lash line with an angled brush. And then because I like a little bit of smokiness and imperfection, I smudge that line by dipping a pencil brush into a slightly lighter shade and swirl it and smudge it all around the line I just made. And I do take that towards the inner corner. I like the extra smokiness and dimension this gives. And if you have have little fine lines or folds that extend below the crease of your eye. This is something you can do that still looks good and you don't need the perfection of a sharp winged line. I thought it might be helpful to show you really quickly how I also do a quick one and done eyeshadow look using powder shadow. And I already set my lids with eyeshadow primer and I've already lined my lids on this day. It doesn't matter whether you line before or after. So I just press and swipe my powder eyeshadows onto my lids with my finger and sometimes I very lightly dip my brush into that powder shadow 
eyeshadow to give a more diffused look when I blend out those edges. And just like I did with the cream liquid and stick shadows earlier, sometimes I blend the edges out with my finger if I'm in a hurry. It works with powder shadows too. I used press setting powder here. It doesn't matter whether it's loose or pressed, no matter what type of eyeshadow you're using, cream, liquid, stick, or powder. And the transition crease eyeshadow application process is pretty much the same. I'm using a mid-toned eyeshadow. Again, you can use bronzer if you want to use that. You don't have to apply anything at all. You can just apply your one and done shadow and your translucent powder and be done. And the reason why I'm saying the translucent powder also is because it's really going to help your shadow liner and mascara not transfer and migrate onto the hoods of your eyes, especially if you have hooded or deep set eyes. I forgot to show you what this looked like at the end of the day, but there you go. When it comes to eyeshadow primer, we tend to either set it or not set it, but this sort of half and half technique has really helped me. And so I hope it helps you. I do this every time I wear these types of eyeshadows, including powder, metallics, and shimmers, like we talked about at the beginning. And it's just amazing how these small tweaks or hacks, whatever you want to call them, make such a difference with the look and wear of these types of shadows. I hope this helped you in some way. If it did, give this video a thumbs up. I have other videos for challenging eye situations here. If you want to check those out, be sure you're subscribed if you enjoy Everyday Beauty Made Easy because that's what my channel is all about. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.